The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. This episode of Sasquatch Mountain Man is presented by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. Born of the mountains, blood of the Indian. He lives by the way he hunts. He rekindles the fires of the past and roams in buckskin. He survives by Hawken and Longbow. He's forged by the elements. Journey with the last of a breed, Sasquatch, Mountain Man. Before the streams freeze, it's time to go up onto the mountain and see what you can carve out. I'm really gonna enjoy this hunt. You know, this time, I'm not after one specific animal. It's a time when seasons and licenses all come together like some conjunction of stars and planets. I'm back here in a place where I have a pocket full of tags. I can go after elk, deer, bear, wolf, mountain lion, whatever I see, pretty much. It's when elk bugle, bears hunt their last fall meal, and the young bucks spar, getting ready for the rut. I'm just enjoying myself walking around the woods. Let's see how it turns out. This is big country, so finding them isn't that easy. Saying I have a pocket full of tags doesn't mean I'm gonna kill anything, but I'm sure gonna give her heck. Back at the ranch, Laramie gathered the stock for his pack string, starting with his saddle horse. He knows a good mule is a mountain man's best friend. Tell you what, this big old mule's almost too tall for me. He probably about 17 hands. But he's awesome, he moves right down the trail. You know, like I've told people time and time again, the key about packing is you gotta make sure your sides are fairly even, you know, within a pound or two. And don't be afraid to get it too tight. It will loosen up. <sighs> Nothing like having some good old mules in the high country. You know, mules are worth their weight in gold if they're good. Cause they got such sure footing. You can see a mule's eyes are tilted just a little bit on the side of their head so they can see their back feet. A horse can't. A mule's a lot more level-headed. It's not gonna blow up and hurt itself. A horse, it'll blow up and pull your whole pack string off the edge. A mule won't. This old mule, this is Luke Skywalker. <laughs> He's a good old boy, huh? For old Luke Skywalker, it's a mountaintop far, far away with some surprises along the trail. Suddenly, Laramie's horse ain't happy. You gotta look hard, but there's a critter there, making the horse skittish and Laramie boiling. You know, this is the kind of stuff that really pisses me off. Here we are, we're coming out here hunting. Some idiot has got lake hole traps out this time of year. You're not supposed to be trapping anything right now. It's archery season, for goodness sakes, and you got a mountain lion that's stuck in a lake hole trap. How long it's been there, I don't know. Why? That's why hunters and trappers and everything else gets bad name. It don't take fish and wildlife long to answer Laramie's call. They gotta prepare a tranquilizer. And once they have it ready, they'll put the lion to sleep and see if they can help it out of its trap. I'm a conservative above all else. I want to conserve these animals for my kids and for our future. The dart begins to have its desired effect and the cougar sinks to the ground and goes out like a light. 
If you're going to take the responsibility to come out here and trap and hunt and everything else, do it ethically. A diagnosis needs to be made about any injuries and if they go beyond minor. I don't know, I don't feel, I don't feel anything broken. I did get her claw pretty bad. Yeah, she be right. The lion wins an ear tag at this particular county fair. Now, the puma is put to bed to sleep off the effects of the drug. That's just sad. That's not a hunter. That's a poacher. It's not fair to the hunters. It's not fair to the animal. It makes me sick. It's a downright shame, but at least the lion, protected by a blanket of pine bows, ought to recover fully. Time for more pleasant occupations. You know, one of the best parts of hunting this backcountry like this is the ride in. Because it's just as good a hunting on top of a horse as it is walking. <laughs> you know, one nice thing about being an outfitter now is I got all my camp set up. I can go pick and choose where I want to go hunt. It's nice for me, but a little more work for the ponies. <laughs> Work for Laramie is bucking some timber for the fire. Right now we're about 16 miles from the closest road. Just the way I like it. Sign up for the Bass Pro Shops Outdoor Channel, Mountain Man Sweepstakes. Log on to BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps and enter to win a $5,000 shopping spree. Fill up your possibles bag with all the essential hunting gear. Sign up, Bass Pro Shops Mountain Man Sweepstakes. That's BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Laramie and his mules are headed up the mountain, and one of his tags is for elk. But there's some trouble on the trail. The delay makes getting into Nice big 
brushy spot up here that the leaves are off so you can see through it. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch it for a couple of hours and hopefully I get a bear cruising through there. There's also usually a lot of deer that move through there too because there's a lot of good grass and wooden trees. I got tags for both. <laughs> Beside a creek makes a fine place to sit in glass. Right now, there's a young bear just to sit and watch. I'm sitting here looking at all this country and it reminds me so much of the country in British Columbia. And there are a lot of bears in country like this. You know, last time I was in BC, I was seeing 10, 12 bears a day. <laughs> and not all of those bears were black bears. Laramie had to wonder if he wasn't heading into trouble chasing grizzled bears with a smoke pole. It's a sight to make the hairs on your neck stand up and salute. Here, there's no second place prize for not shooting true. Now, right now it's fall. You're not gonna see as many bears because they're in the thicker stuff eating what's left over of the grass and the berries, but there's still a high population of bears around here. You know, you take places like Montana and Idaho, they're great places to spot and stalk bears. Bear hunting is something else. If you've never been, I suggest you try. As the day wears on, the voices of other hunters are heard. Well, I'm pretty sure I just heard a wolf howl up above here. That creek's pretty loud, so I can't tell exactly, but pretty positive that's what it is. I saw a lot of wolf tracks riding in. The wolves are back, and hunters are going to have to find ways to be accommodating. And you know, the wolves, it's not necessarily what they kill, which they do kill quite a bit, but when they start howling and they start hunting the country, nothing moves. Bears, deer, elk, they all just get in the thick stuff and hunker down. So I'm gonna head back to camp, get some food, try it again tomorrow. Looks like maybe the horses have heard the howling too. What are you doing, big dog? The horses are happy not only for the chance to get grained, but for having someone to watch over them in wolf country. Dan, what are you doing? Brought to you by the Ego Power Plus Lawnmower. Ego, power beyond belief. Brought to you by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. There's as much joy just riding the high country as getting to where you're going. So far, a small bear's all that's been seen. But Laramie can't think of a better place to be on a fall day doesn't mean there ain't tribulations, like tearing holes in your buckskin. Well, like I've always said, this country can be pretty rough on you, especially your clothing. I had a pretty good blowout. The air conditioning was nice for a little while, until it got about 20 degrees, then not so nice. So I've got uh, just some leather. I'm just gonna buck stitch this back together and call it good. You gotta be your own seamstress up here. The mountain men learned a lot of their backwoods sewing technique from the Indians. And not just with rawhide, but with sinew, evergreen roots, and even the pointy yucca leaf. That comes with a built-in needle, by the way. That ought to work. Look at that, just like new. Now eventually I need to fix my pocket. You know, when this buckskin gets wet, that leather, it'll start fraying. I need to get a bear on the ground too, so I can have some 
bear fat to waterproof my buckskins. All in time, all in time. With his breeches mended, Laramie is seeing if he can find himself something with preferably hooves instead of paws. Right there will make one heck of a pie. Elderberries. I might have to remember where this little tree is because I might come back and get me some for. for his body, too. Uh, you can look straight across. You got a herd. There's like seven, eight cows. One really nice bull. He bugled, and I heard another bull bugle up on top. Well, I got to wait till they get in the timber. Then I'm going to haul butt over there and try to get in right behind him and call him out of his bed. Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. The high country's awaiting, and Laramie has a couple of mountain canaries and a good horse to carry him all the way into camp. He's gotten a good look at a bear, and now he's working down the trail hoping to get into range of a fine bull elk. Well, just what I thought might happen, this wind swirling too bad, he come in, but he smelled us. Got right to the point right there, smelled us, and turned around and trotted off. It's a double-antlered, non-typical bull and Laramie's far from prepared to give up on trying to stalk up on it without giving it his best shot. Well, the whole herd bedded down and right in the wide open, so the only chance I have is I'm gonna have to circle all the way around this point, get right up above him in the timber, and hope that he comes in. There's a couple satellites to, that just moved in, so I might be able to call one of them in too, but. After seeing that herd bull, it's gonna be hard to shoot a satellite. But like they say, you can't eat the horns.
my strong suit is patience. If you can't catch him, you might as well enjoy watching him run. There goes dinner. Tell you what, my best friends are right here. <laughs> Look at it. Bye. They say a wink is as good as a nod to a blind mule. But these mules, well, they see perfectly. And they like nothing better than looking down the trail.